Did you ever anticipate using your old laptop or your household's PC to maybe start learning video editing? And if so, what program did you look forward to using? Have you checked the specs required to run the program you want? If not, we will be referring to the question, can my PC run it? Video editing is more accessible than ever. All you need is a smartphone with a camera that can quickly capture videos and a fairly inexpensive PC or Mac for editing. Whether you're a professional video editor or a hobbyist, Premiere Pro has long been the industry standard for video editing and is today's most popular video editing software. Intuitive and powerful, Premiere Pro lets you edit videos in any style you can imagine, using any footage, as long as your PC can keep up. Whoa! Whoa! According to Adobe, the official system requirements appear to be fairly low, but like many software products, Premiere Pro's performance requirements vary depending on the complexity of your project. This software is RAM-intensive hardware and uses a lot of your computer's resources. 4 gigabits of RAM is not enough for designing animated graphics in Premiere Pro. Adobe recommends 16 gigabits, but you should have at least 8 gigabits of RAM to effectively and smoothly create effects and run the plugins required for motion graphics design. However, for simple text animations, 4 gigabits is not a problem, unless the animation is overkill. If you can't upgrade your PC's RAM to something better, or if you can't find the features you're looking for in an older version of the software, you'll have no choice but to use one of the alternatives. You can easily run Adobe Premiere Elements on a computer with 4 gigabits of RAM, but 8 gigabits is recommended for a smooth experience. Another affordable alternative in terms of both investment and system requirements is Wondershare's Filmora. The minimum RAM requirements for HD and 4K video editing is 8 gigabits, but 4 gigabits of RAM will work just fine. If you want something specific for gaming videos, check out the best video editing software for gaming recaps. Adobe Premiere Pro is a RAM-intensive application both during editing and final rendering, so if you can get Premiere Pro to run properly on your PC, we recommend trying Premiere Rush. Most Premiere Pro versions are included but require a lot of hardware power to run and operate. However, if you must use Premiere Pro for any reason, we recommend using the CC 2015 version of Premiere Pro on computers with 4 gigabits of RAM or less. Following up are the computer hardware components that have the most impact on Premiere Pro's performance. First, we have the CPU, which is the most important hardware component in video editing. Video editing PCs benefit from higher clock speed CPUs over CPUs with more cores. However, if your budget fits, it's best to get both. We found the sweet spot for Premiere Pro to be around 16 to 32 high clock cores. For example, AMD Ryzen 5950X, AMD Threadripper 3960X. The second main component is a powerful GPU. If you use a video editing program, you can use the lower tier GPU. The GPU doesn't affect Premiere Pro as much as the CPU. There is an opportunity effect from GPU acceleration. Speeding up rendering and encoding on CUDA-enabled graphics cards such as NVIDIA GeForce, but otherwise prioritizing CPU budget allocation over GPU. AMD Radeon GPUs can also be used, but Intel's iGPUs are very slow and should not be used. And finally, the most underlooked element of them all is the RAM. Video editing programs use a process called caching that stores timelines and memory for fast playback. It requires a large amount of additional RAM to cache properly. Otherwise, Premiere Pro will cache it on your hard drive and slow down significantly. 16 gigabits may be enough for a 2K project, but if you're working on a complex project with long timelines, large uncompressed footage, or heavy use of effects, consider 32 or 64 gigabits or more. It is commonly seen that software providers intentionally lower system requirements to lower the entry point because they want as many people as possible to buy and use their software. In fact, your computer needs more power to run Premiere Pro comfortably. Comfortable means lag-free, responsive, and smooth performance while actively working on a 2K or 4K project. 
We also want to be able to render and encode projects without slowing down Premiere Pro, running out of memory, or taking a long time for seemingly simple clips. A limitless PC is absolutely necessary, especially when video editing is a daily business and your income depends on efficient work. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment, and see you in the next video.